Hey guys, Sci-Fi back again for the first video of 2015. And I've got a pretty darn big review here today, along with a couple of shout outs and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> I managed to score one of the only new things here in Australia would be the Star Wars Black Series Battle of Endor Battle Pack set. It's quite nice in the box. It's quite cool indeed. Um, I did show... I took a picture and stuck it up on Google Plus as a bit of a heads up to my Google Plus guys, just to say. And because of the plastic clear sheeting, it just went... It just reflected like nothing else. So I got a scalpel out and took it out. Took my finger out too. Anyway, the diorama inside is absolutely fantastic. I've got to admit, okay, your box set. Battle of Andor, Star Wars, Black Series. People that are in it. That's not going to fall, there we go. There's you guys. Star Wars, the Black Series. This is the only new thing I could find. Toys R Us. And there you go. There's the back of it. <clears throat> Includes eight figures and ATST Walker cannon missiles and instructions. If you want to read that. We all know what happens on the Battle of Endor, of course. And yeah, as I've said, here in Australia, in stores, there's absolutely Bugger all. This was the only newish thing I could find. Um, a shout out to Steve Starwalker Cardon for doing a video of this to give me a heads up. <coughs> it's very cool. It's the only new one I could find. And inside is fantastic. I mean, if you have a look, it's hard to see some. There's your shield bunker. So I've got an all the way sort of to the end of it there. It even goes to the treetop canopies in an ATST one. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's why I took the whole clear screen of plastic out because otherwise it just would reflect. But anyways, get the idea. That's the box. Now for the figures, a bit of a bit of happiness and a bit of disappointment. <coughs> Oop, nearly fell off my freaking chair. So there we go. Okay, so it came with figures that I've already got. Stormtrooper, an ATST driver, and an Imperial Commander. And they're all I don't know what repacks they come from. Also we've got a Han Solo. Of course, no one, if it was going to friggin' focus, be nice. Come on. There we go. Yep. Don't know what pack that comes from. The Chewbacca, which doesn't look too bad. Got his... Got his pauldron there. Not pauldron, what's it called? With his crossbow, and also there's part of his crossbow there. Doesn't fit to his gun properly. Not impressed. It's not a bad looking chewy. And a Leia, Princess Leia, in her um in her Ewok, not Ewok, in her Endor fatigues, which is a uh, one of the variants I don't have. I've got quite a few layer variants, but this one I don't have. I've got yeah, about 11 variants. You know, got your slave one in the dancing costume, Bespin, whatnot. So yeah, it's good to pick that up. Also, I don't have my Han Solo and Chewbacca in their sort of forms displayed. This. They sit in my giant Millennium Falcon on top of my fridge. And of course, no problem. Always good to have a couple more Imperial guys sitting on my display cabinet for my Imperial guys. It's like an army builder in a way. Now these two get me. 
Stemzy and Chobre. Don't know which one's which. Now, when I took my photo yesterday and stuck it up on Google Plus, wish there was some friggin' photos. Uh, MG Villain MP438 said to me, he goes, these are, they've named them wrong. Hasbro got the wrong names for the wrong characters. And I'm like, you know, that's not new. But the thing is, yeah, again, I've got about 11 or so Ewoks, but I don't have these two guys. They've got different helmet variations. Who knows if they're going to fit? So I took one helmet off. We'll better get it back on. Yeah, like, sort of like the crossbow bit there of Chewbacca's gun. Doesn't fit anywhere. Like the Clone Wars Chewbacca was probably the best one I've seen for a while. So yeah, I've got, I've got new Ewoks. And of course it comes with the piece de resistance, the ATST, All Terrain Armoured Scout Transport. And yeah, I've um, got to say, the legs, the plastic on those, I ain't going to touch this. If I just, if I blew on it hard enough, the thing will fall over. It took me forever to stand it up. Um, yeah, very flimsy legs. Uh, not easy to stand and display. Yeah, the... Hatch comes off. Also, from there, that comes off so you can put figures inside if you wish. Comes with a secondary blaster thing you can hook under there. And of course, like most toys, they do that. And of course, if you're a kid who plays with them, you will lose them. But as a display person, as you know, I display my figures out of packets. That box is probably going to disappear. Uh, figures will, I'll Tetris them into my display cabinets. I'll add nicely to my collection. And so will he, somewhere. I don't know. It's nice, it's a cool look at, I mean, it's a dead set, awesome looking ATST. Just, you'd think you'd put some pretty heavy plastic on its legs. That was a stiff wind will blow him over, but I still do like it. Got to say, I do like it. I can't. I have no room to display it in this box. I'd probably love to because I love the whole diorama in the background. It's fantastic. It really is. But alas, no room to sit a giant box in my house. So there we go. I am disappointed, but I'm also excited. I do dig it. And let's see what else the Black Series is going to throw at us. Please. No more repacks. Be nice. Give us some new stuff. Anyways, uh, um, a, a couple of forgotten shout outs I did, and I will mention, I mentioned them like I typed them in on my last video, but uh, JC Selji, Jerry, Power of the Force 2, and a good Aussie mate of mine, the fat Aussie bastard. Hello, and hope you guys have a good new year. Jerry, I've also, I've seen you had some trouble with some storms. I'm glad to see you back on the tube, mate. Really am. And also Fat Aussie Bison and the Power of the Force 2. Thank you. Also, a new guy. Uh, Tiki Fire Productions has been giving me shout-outs, been saying hello to me. Hello and welcome. It's a great community here. I don't know if, if you're with anyone else around here, but there's plenty of people and plenty of stuff to look at. And a G Plus friend. Uh... His name is what? Wasim Khan from Saudi Arabia. He hasn't got a single figure, but he wants to start collecting. You know, better late than never. So I've given him a few tips and pointers and where to go. Um, I hope he looks at some of your videos and whatnot. So yay, all the way from Saudi Arabia, you know, the community spreads out all over the world and so it should. Anyway, guys, I'm about to do some other things. Um, another word to Walrus Man, Joey, do you still want me to do my Walking Dead video for you? Just film the whole lot of them. Nothing new, nothing from C uh, Series 6 yet. So if you want me to hang in until I get some new ones, or if you still want me to film, it's up to you, mate. I'll do it, whatever you say. Anyways, all right, it's friggin' hot here. It's 35 degrees or 95 in Fahrenheit. And the birds and the cicadas and the heat is just bearing down on me. 
But anyways, guys, um, I think I've got everything down. All right, you take it easy. I hope you like this pack. Don't know if you want to buy it. It's pretty expensive. Just for, especially for a few repacked figures in a very, very awesome diorama. All right, guys, all take care. May the force be with you. Cheers.